Hey guys, what's going on? It's Travis aka Dad and I just wanted to drop a short little video for you today. Um, it's very informal but it's a situation that just happened to me this morning and I just really felt God tugging on my heart to share this with you and uh, you know just just for you dads who or parents in general who may be going through this situation. So I just wanted to share this short little video with you. So here we go. Salutations, my friends, and welcome back. How are we all doing today? It's Friday. It means that I'm home alone with the kids today, and I've got the day off work. The morning is always tough. Lately, Oliver, when he wakes up, he's so used to mommy being the one to get him up because I'm already gone for, for work. So he wants mommy, and unfortunately, he gets daddy. He's a two-year-old. He has no idea what's going on. But then there are days like today. And today, it kind of just struck me differently. And it's, it's hard. It's hard because you love your kids so much and you want them to love you and you know how much you do for them and just you want to give them the world. And on days like this, I'm waking up early, I'm trying to make him breakfast and I'm being greeted with slapped in the face and saying mean things. And it's hard when you feel that way because then all of a sudden you start to feel defeated and deflated and you question whether or not, you know, the decisions you make are, you know, the best for your kids, you know, what's wrong with me? Why, why don't, why don't my kids love me the way they should or I would expect them to? Why don't, why don't they want to spend time with me the way they want to spend time with mommy, you know? And they're, the fact of the matter is their phases, and I get that. And you've probably heard that a thousand and one times. It's just a phase. It's just a phase. And that's true. That's true. Even though it's a phase, that doesn't make it any easier now. Because we're going through it now. It's affecting us now. So what do we do in those situations when we're feeling defeated, when we're sad? Maybe more importantly, when we're frustrated, right? The verse I read this morning was Proverbs 12, 22. So if you have your Bibles, you can jump into it. Or I'm going to throw it up on the screen right here. Or down here. I don't really know. The Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in people who are trustworthy. So what that verse is speaking to me is that I think about what, what am I praying about? What am I really saying in my prayer? And... God may know my situation and he may know all things about me inside and out. But am I being honest in my prayer about what I'm really feeling? He may already know, but am I being truthful and upfront about how I'm feeling and what my circumstances are actually doing in my life? Or am I giving this half-hearted, generic prayer that isn't truly from my heart and what, what I'm going through. And I think that that's kind of the line that I, I'm trying to draw today is that we need to be truthful and honest and upfront and bold. And sometimes that means the rated R prayer, the, the prayer that, you know, you wouldn't say out loud probably in front of everybody at church, but it is an honest and truthful depiction of what you're going through and the heartbreak and the sorrow and the frustration and all the things that are coming along with your emotions and letting God work through that with you instead of trying to hide it and just be generic or, you know, taking it and, you know, not really dealing with it with God, but instead trying to just go off and deal by, with it by yourself. So like if you're in this place or if you find yourself in this place in the future, get in the word Find a verse, find a chapter, meditate and pray in that chapter and figure out what God is telling you through that verse. But when you're praying, be honest and truthful about what you're going through, how something's affecting you and work it out with him in that moment and don't take it with you through the rest of the day because that has reshaped my day today. I woke up and the situation started to make me really frustrated and I was sad. But now, I've already seen a dramatic change in my son's behavior 
and his tone because there was a change in mine, because there was a change in my heart, because God started to release something into me and take away all of the, ne the negativity that I was holding inside. So, bottom line is, take it to the Lord, but take it to the Lord truthfully and get into the Word. Those are the practical applications of what I just wanted to share briefly today and very informally. Yeah, if you like this style of video, just uh, let me know it down in the comments down below and we'll try and do some videos like this in the future. All right, guys, catch you in the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.